In this video, I'm gonna show you three exercises that you can do to help avoid back pain. Hey there, it's Hunter Grindle here from Hybrid Fitness, and today I wanna to show you three exercises that if you can get these down and do them correctly, it's gonna help with your back pain if you have it already. And if you don't have back pain, it'll help you avoid it in the future. And so one really good thing to shoot for whenever you're doing any exercise, uh, maybe it be a core exercise or a lower body, is that you're able to move your limbs, being that your arms, your legs, without actually using your lower back. So I wanna show you a few examples really quick of what that might look like and then how to do it correctly. So one exercise that a lot of people do is, it's called the bird dog. And in the bird dog, you come right down here onto your hands and onto your knees. You wanna have a 90 degree angle here under your knee and a nice flat back. Now in the bird dog, what you do is you lift one leg as you lift the opposite arm. So I'd have these up and then I bring them back down just like so. So what you'll see a lot of people will do is when they do this exercise, they are extending their lower back as they lift their knees. So if I pull that up there, they will do that and they're actually using their back when using their leg. And if they're doing that in this exercise, most likely there's other things that they're doing in their life or you're doing in your life every day where you're using your back when you shouldn't. And that can be a source of back pain. So we wanna teach you how to use those limbs independently of your back. So one way to start is coming right here and focusing and paying attention on my lower back curving. Without adding the arm, we're gonna go ahead and just, you wanna focus on keeping the foot below your hips. Inhale down, and I want you to get a hard exhale. And notice how my back is not moving nearly as much as it was previously. You wanna avoid that back coming up. So once you're able to master that movement, to where your back isn't moving. Then you can begin to add in some difficulty, add in that arm movement, and you're doing the same thing. <sighs> Exhaling, maintaining that straight back. So the bird dog is one really great exercise that you can do that. So let's go to the second exercise now. We're gonna look at overhead press. So if you stand right up. If you come over to the wall, you think anytime you're lifting weights overhead, what happens a lot of times is you'll have different muscles that are really tight and including these muscles under your armpits called your lats. Now when those are tight, or sometimes your core isn't as strong as it would be, you will curve your lower back to help lift that weight. You've probably seen something like that. You may have done it, as you know that can cause a lot of back pain. So one thing that you can focus on when doing this is squeezing the butt, Elbows in tight, and again, a hard exhale, overhead. So if you come right over here to the side and you take a look, you can actually kind of measure, all right, where, is my, where are my feet, or where's my lower back when I'm resting, when I have a resting posture? You can see that's where my back normally is. So we want it to stay in that posture as we lift our arms overhead. So I know I'm holding my shirt here. If I go, I'll do one arm. So if I go here and I press overhead and you see that happen, that means we're not lifting overhead correctly. But if we're able to lift overhead and that back maintains its position, that's exactly what we want. So focus, pay attention. Hey, am I compensating here? And if I'm not, how can I focus on maintaining that straight back? And you can do that by again, exhaling and by squeezing your butt. And another great exercise that would help you if you find you're having trouble is stretching out your armpits. So grabbing onto a pole or something, leaning back, and you're gonna feel that stretch all under there. So that's your second exercise. Your third exercise is I just want you to do planks. Let's do planks, but don't think about doing planks for a minute or two minutes. Let's focus on having perfect form with a plank for 10 seconds at a time and just build up your sets. So if we come right down here to the ground, Again, we're gonna have our elbows directly below our shoulders. We're gonna squeeze our glutes. And you know, some people will have their butt up high, but that's not necessarily what we wanna do. It will work your core, but not in the way. I'd rather have you have perfect form for less time. So let's go elbows right below the shoulders, nice flat back. And your body's actually resisting your back from bending this way by doing this. So hold for 10 seconds, breathe. 
perfect form, and then relax. Give yourself a few seconds, perfect form, for 10 seconds, and relax. Avoid, when you get tired, picking the butt up. Instead, take shorter sets and work on perfect form. So, as a recap, we've got your planks, we've got that wall shoulder press looking at your lower back, and then we have the first exercise we did. So you can go back, look at those. If you have any questions, go ahead, ask them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it was helpful to you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button over to my side. And if you haven't already, check out our most recent video. Hopefully that's helpful to you as well. Look, if you're a mom out there who really wants a little extra help, needs some motivation, we have a private Facebook group that's completely free to you where we're posting helpful content all the time. It's in the link below. So again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, and ask questions if you have them. I can't wait to see you in the next video.